So Huadra hand in, back of the head, other hand comes to cover, step over, nice and low, and push that over. When they're in chicken judo, and one of the ways we can turn them, I know we've worked on some others like judo stack, I'm trying to pull up on the belt and get the legs in, but if she's just really set on being here, another way we can work is the power half that Coach was talking about. So what I'm doing the power half, if I'm right here on her, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hand and I'm going to jam it in and I want to get under her arm here. Okay. So kind of like we were doing with that half, that belt and Nelson earlier, except we're going from the back. And then I'm going to take this hand, put it on the back of her head, and notice my elbow is kind of at her elbow. This is how I get that leverage to get her arm up. If I leave my arm down by her shoulder, she's just going to suck that in and now I've lost this arm. So your elbow by their elbow, pop it up. Your other free hand is just going to come on the back of your hand here. And once you've got that secure, come to the side. Again, that chest nice and low and drive over. So the hands are pretty similar to what we were doing with Belt and Nelson, where, you know, palms down on both hands, one hand grabs the other. We're just at the different direction. Instead of at our head, we're now at, kind of at their back. So, wedge that hand in, back of the head. Other hand comes to cover. Step over, nice and low, and push that over. Okay, okay we just call it power half. And what, is, what pin did she end up with? I'm going to get Tommy, chest hold. Nice clean pin, sticks in there for the time, okay? Well, let's get a partner. 